Hello guys and welcome to my new series called From Tutorial Island to a Bond. In this series I will be getting a bot on a fresh account starting from level 3. And unlike most of the videos on YouTube, I will be focusing on getting the money with skilling and in efficient ways to train your skills and preparing for membership. So first of all, when you enter RuneScape on a new account, you need to create your character. First you need to choose how you want to look like and it's all up to you what you want to look like. In this game you can be anything. After making the account, you need to complete the tutorial island, which is pretty simple. Just follow the arrows that indicate where you need to go and flicking images that tell you what to click next. And if you don't care about what they tell you, you can just hold down your space bar to skip the conversations as fast as possible. After you complete Tutorial Island, you will be given a starter pack to start your adventure in RuneScape. There are many ways of making money in RuneScape, and at level 3 and when you just beginning it can be quite rough to make money. So I'm going to show you a few nice methods to make some money. So when you complete the tutorial island you will be teleported to a place called Lumbridge. What I did first was that I went into the castle. I went into the castle and I went upstairs to a dude called Duke Horatio and when you talk to Duke he will give you an air talisman and if you drop the air talisman you can actually get a second one from him. It is very clever to toggle your shift click dropping on at this point and you can do that by going to the settings and selecting the joystick menu and pressing the toggle shift click dropping so if you toggle this on you will be able to press down shift and just left click on all of the items to drop them very easily so i repeated this until i had 28 and then i picked them all up in my inventory and i went to the bank and i noted the talismans and then i went back to duke to get more talismans. So I did this for 29 minutes and in that time I was able to get over 250 air talismans which is a lot worse than I thought it would be and I decided to stop here and get money other ways. So after getting the talismans I went to the grand exchange to sell my talismans. I was able to sell the talismans for almost 15,000 GP, which is okay and I decided to spend all that money on magic gear like fire staff, amulet of magic, zamorak rope bottom, black robe and a wizard hat and also runes to train the early levels of magic and also to cast as many fire strikes as possible. Next I bought some jugs of wine because it is the cheapest food you can get in the game and it heals 11 which is more than the starting health of your account. So it's really perfect food when training magic and range but it reduces your attack level by 3 so it's not very good when you're training combat. So I took my money and all the runes and the rest I filled with wines. And then I headed to the security stronghold to get my 10,000 GP. And if you want to get the 10,000 GP, you actually need a two-way authenticator for your account. So you need to link a phone app to your account so that your account is as secure as possible. So after getting the 10,000 GP from the security stronghold, I went down to Port Sharim. And I bought as many fire strike runes as I could with the money I had. And then I went to kill some ogresses. But pretty soon I realized that killing ogresses 
straight from level 1 magic is really really bad because they have pretty high magic defense. So it's a lot better to kill something like hill giants, imps or even cows for cow hides in the early levels. So I recommend you to do that. So it took me 1 hour and 8 minutes to use all of the runes I bought and with those runes I got 31 magic which is pretty nice. I was only able to kill 13 ogresses so it took me 100 mind runes per ogress to kill which is not good at all but in the end I made more money than I spent on the runes but if you would use the runes on something like hill giants I think you would profit more and you would get more XP. Magic is very efficient to train early on in free to play and in members because with magic you can use teleports and it's also pretty efficient to do it in free to play because you need it also for efficient questing and it saves you a little bit of money when questing. You can also profit quite a lot of money by training your magic early on. So probably the best way to make money on a level 3 account in free to play is to loot stuff that other people leave in the PvP worlds or Edgeville. So all you need to do is go to the PvP world, world 71 and make sure you have nothing on you. You might have some food with you but nothing else because if somebody kills you, you will lose your stuff. Also a very helpful thing is to go to your options menu and go to the controls and select the player attack options and select hidden. This way you cannot attack any of these guys and get sculled and killed. So when you are in the PvP world and Actually, this is the Grand Exchange and around this is the hotspot of free-to-play PKing. So this is where you will get most of the loot. And a good way to make money is by picking arrows, like this, adamant arrow. And then somebody is trying to kill me actually. Then I run away so that he cannot kill me. So already in one minute I made almost 1k GP, which is pretty nice. Then you can collect anything that they leave on the ground. Actually here is a pretty good place also. So this is the loot from under 10 minutes of looting. So in 10 minutes so in under 10 minutes I was able to loot for over 10k worth of loot. But let's sell all of this in the GE. So in less than 10 minutes I was able to get over 10k GP which means doing this you should be profiting at least 50k GP an hour. Which is amazing with zero requirements and it's probably best to do it around 3 combat. So it can be quite rough to make the first money in the game. So here I have just a few nice early methods to make your first thousands of GPs. So the first method is getting wool from the sheep. Because when I went to the cows I found out that it was pretty heavily botted and there was no cow hides on the ground. So I got myself a full inventory of wool. And after that I went to get myself a full inventory of cow hides and bones. So for getting a, an inventory of wool it took me around 4 minutes. And to get full inventory of bones and cow hides it took me less than 2 minutes. So both of them are pretty good methods to get money. So from the bones and cow hides I was able to get 1945 GP. And from the wolves I was able to get 3938 GP. So after you make your first few thousands of GP, you have many ways to get more money.
So the first method is to go to shops around the world and buy stuff and sell them in the GE. For example, you can go to the general store in Varok. And in just one trip, I was able to get over 800 GP and it probably took me only one to two minutes. I also did this in Falador for 17 minutes and I was able to get around 15 to 20,000 GP profit in that time. And I only spent around 3000 GP, so you don't really need a lot of money. Just don't buy jugs or pots from the general stores and you're good to go. I also bought amulet molds and threads and needles and such from the Alcarage, Alcarage crafting shop for 10 minutes. And here I spent also a few thousand GP and I profited over 10,000 GP. Here you need to remember to not buy TR molds because those are not profitable at all. And if you don't like buying from the stores, you can just do this method. So you buy bowls from the GE and then you fill them with water. And doing this in the Varrock East Bank is very good and you can easily double your money in a few minutes and after you get more money you make more money per hour because you can buy more bowls at a time. So it took me 5 minutes to fill 160 bowls and I profited 4 to 5k GP. So this method is also very profitable but the bad side is that you don't get any XP but that's fine in the early levels. After this I suggest that you start training magic, but it's all up to you. Just try to enjoy the game. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you like this one. Also, feel free to subscribe for future content. I will be uploading more of the progress in this series around every one to two weeks. Good luck on the bond hunting and as always. Have a great day, Mr. Grauman, out.